hi guys welcome to a new video i am so happy that you're here today today i will be sharing my top three favorite ways how i usually style my hair so the first way i like to do my hair is straighten it so i will be sharing my favorite straightener for the past five or even six years and that's the chi um, straightener and i'll show you in a little bit i washed my hair for the purpose of this video um yeah so this is the straightener it comes in a heat protecting case i have had this straightener for a really long time and it still does an amazing job so as you can see the cord is really long and it makes it really easy if you're not really close to a plug and yeah for the heat settings it has three settings if i'm correct 180 to 200 and 220 degrees celsius um, and i will be using it on the heat hottest setting but um, i will only pass it through my hair once so yeah apply a little bit of heat protectant as i have to go through a lot of hair i always section it in equal parts so it's easier to get through So the way I straighten my hair is I think pretty regular how most of us do it. I just pass it through and repeat it twice on the ends because those are a little bit more frizzy for me. And yeah, to cover more space I would say put your uh, hair straightener on an angle and um, yeah, that makes it a bit more easy to get more hair at the same time. So the most important part is to see the difference at this present moment. On the left side you can see that is how my hair usually looks when I air dry it. And on the right side is how it looks straightened. And yeah, my hair is not curly or anything but it just has a lot of volume and frizz naturally. So yeah, the difference between both of them is quite significant. Um, I will do one side of my head and then the rest I'll do off camera. But as you can see, it is really easy to get it done. Just one pass through is um, yeah, good enough. And as you can see, that's just how my natural hair is. Straight but a little frizzy. And yeah, the way this straightener works is just really good. It's really easy to use um, as any straightener. But it just takes me one full pass through the hair to fully get the strands straight. And yeah, I finished both sides right now. And as you can see, it just smoothens everything out. The frizz is gone. And you can see the really beautiful color that fades from dark into the light. And I will show you from the back how it looks. When my hair was a lot longer, uh, I got asked so often how I did my hair and what tools I use. So I wanted to share this holy grail of mine. So yeah wait for your straightener to cool and even when it's a little bit warm you can just put it back into the heat protecting mat and fold it up really easy for travel so yeah that was this finished look and let's get on to the next one and that is my dyson air wrap um i have made more in-depth tutorials on how i do my hair and how i curl them but this tool really changed my life really oh my goodness guys i cannot explain to you how much i love it and how much i use this on daily basis it is an expensive investment but i got my money worth out of it because i've been using it a lot for myself and for my mom and yeah as you can see i am curling the hair just wanted to show you the last few bits of this curling session and for me my curls last a couple of days like three four days until the next hair wash session i just make sure when i sleep with my hair uh, i put it in a bun and i curl the hair up into the bun so it <laughs> will stay for um, yeah a bit more time so as you can see a lot of volume you have to kind of shake it and style it how you like so for this part of the video I use the curling attachment and I will use the blow dryer attachment in a sec to fix up these bangs um, because they were falling in my face a little bit and I wanted them to be a bit different. 
Um, but yeah, it's really about exploring what tools work for you. I have a curler that I used before I had a Dyson, but that takes just a bit longer for me. And this gives a lot more volume than when I would use a normal curling iron. So this is the finished look. And trust me guys, when you put some pomade in it and smoothen things out, it looks amazing. I've also seen a lot of dupes of the Dyson Airwrap, so yeah, you might as well try those out maybe if you're not uh, wanting to splurge so much. The last hairstyle that I do quite often is with the blow dryer attachment and um, on this specific video I have a separate tutorial. Uh, but I wanted to add this to this um, favorites video as I do this quite often and this gives more of a blow dry effect as the previous one really curls. This specific way of styling your hair gives a lot of volume and the curls don't last as long but there is a lot of volume in the hair eventually. So yeah, that completes the third look for me, um, which I do on a daily basis. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and let me know in the comments what you thought about it. I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay happy.